Welcome to the new episode of DIY Queen B. Today we are going to see how I build a new cover for the 12 volt DC system and the switch panels because I had to extend it a little bit. Yeah, let me show you what I'm going to do. Um, the masterpiece actually looked similar like this. So we have this side because here is the door and it just goes this way. Then we have here a small um, part in. This is actually uh, the yard um, chassis so it's going here and down here so while I had to cut here on top of a little bit because our LEDs or the LED stripe is located here since we have the instruments sitting here and some of the distribution panels are sitting here and as well here is the fuse box I've decided it makes sense if that could be opened, especially when here the fuses are in, I want to change it. So that means um, at least I should make a kind of door. And after I use this as the master layout, because I have to extend here by, by around 10 centimeters, because I, I just made it a little bigger, I have to see later um, if I can make a kind of door like in this way so like that and it should open and flip in this direction so flip that means um, since this is very 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 slim here and as well here um, okay there is a kind of wooden foundation um, under it uh, but I will um, on the back side fiber everything so with the fiberglass, um, the same same actually for the door inside. That gives a little bit more structure and makes the very thin plywood because it has only four millimeters a little stronger. And then I can just open it in this way. Um, I'm not yet sure. I will see if that's cuttable or if I do the fiber um, glass on the back side first and then start cutting it. The other option which I had, if this is really too thin, would that I extend it here. So that means option, I would make it a little bigger and do it this way. So that's a good question. I have no idea yet because if I flip this, it just um, has the structure only around here. So I need to fiber that and this side as well from the back. Good, then let's go down into the basement and start working on it. Yeah, the first thing I'm doing is I put this at the master piece, master layout, and draw carefully what I need to do. That was the master piece, and I have put a lot of notes on so to know what I need to do. So that's the new design and now I go and cut it. Yeah, so I'm going to start with this side first, which should be okay. So this is done. Now on this side, I just do it actually on this and um, put just the frame aside so I can just go further and better straight. The masterpiece is cut it. Um, so it's not that nice yet. So I'm going to sand a little and then I cut the other small corner. Since this is the other part, 
I need to fiber glass it on this side. So this side will be now fiber glass. And then I will just see where from here to here I will probably later cut out um, the tiny little door. So probably until here. So that I have a small door which I can open and have a look into my view. Yeah, that's enough. So now cleaning um, with some acetone and we're done. Then I can start painting this side. That's good. And I just need to wait until everything has dried. Yeah, next we'll be painting a little. I know we shouldn't do this, but on the other hand, that's still fine enough. Side one. So I leave and dry this a little bit. Um, the next will be that I am sanding outside a little bit. From inside it doesn't matter. Again because there comes even the fiberglass on top. Good. So it's done. Now I wait. For the next part. Yeah, so far the first part is done. It's a little shiny because it's already or well, it's still wet. <clears throat> it's not yet the same color as you can see. Um, the other part, I, I I don't know. I guess he has painted it with a different color, or it really was. Mahagani. Um, at least I will repaint the second time so that should makes it a little darker and up on this uh, I put the clear paint on and then it should be fine. It needs to dry now hmm, for say around one hour and after one hour I can apply the second layer. The surface has dried out and as you see it looks pretty nice. Uh, next finish on this for sure will be the clear paint. Um, now let me turn it. Now I lay fiber over the entire structure because here which will be actually from here so I leave a little little in here from here to here and here that will be the tiny little door. Yeah good. So 100 to 60, then let me see. Now someone showed me a nice trick. If you go in here, it should fall back. Yeah, indeed it do. That's great. So 62, it's actually 36 grams. So that was the hardener. Good, I steer it. Good, next part is first I put some epoxy on the wood. So that looks good. Some more sticking. 
<clears throat> so now I lay this one first. Yeah, that seems very sufficient. Not fully. Rub it here. That's good. So the roller is in the other room. Yeah, that looks pretty good for my first time. <laughs> so having two tools. This is for the corners, and that's for the main part. Good. Some new gloves because I made them dirty. So I apply a little further here on the side. I think it will probably not stick there because it's a little too less too short, but it doesn't matter on this side. Well, that one I need to cut later, so I put them up here again because not necessary so I can cut it when it's hard proper with a knife it seems narrow enough that's good one part I've detected here for the first time not that bad hope so <laughs> I am happy so we let it dry uh, the brush and everything else I can throw also from the other side and I think it looks good. It's inside nicely protected, no bubbles anymore. It can nicely dry, and I move it later anywhere else. For the first time, I am pretty happy. It do not look bad. Um, it worked. Yeah, but honestly, the West System epoxy is much better. At the end, I'm happy. Next is now. Just let me turn it. Oh, I need to clean a little bit. Now here I will produce the door. The hatch I've made offline, so no video for this, but you see the cabling already. And now it's time to screw this cover in place. And um, from that one I also have no video, but you can see this video how it looked like after I screwed it back into the boat. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and happy making more DIY videos for you.